Hey everyone, it's Tara Lynn. Welcome to the channel. Today I have another fun video for you. So on my channel, I have this series where I take TV shows or movies and I relate them to different tarot cards to help you understand the meaning of the tarot cards through other media that you might be more familiar with. So I was thinking about what media I wanted to use next for the series and all of a sudden I thought of doing 60 Musical. So even though this isn't a TV show or a movie, it's still a form of media that I think is really popular at the moment, especially on TikTok. And so I thought because I love the musical so much, why not? take some tarot cards and relate it to the wives in the musical. So you haven't heard of this musical before. It's basically about the six wives of Henry VIII. Now for those of you where you never heard of this musical before, if you go ahead and listen to the album, that will help you understand what these cards are referencing because a lot of the musical is available in the album that they have online. You can listen to it on YouTube or whatever streaming platform you use. So for those of you where you're going to listen to the album, each of the wives represent a different song and so the tarot cards is representing her energy in that song. I want to say this is not based on real life, so I'm not claiming that these tarot cards are representing who these people were in their actual lives. It's just representing the energy that the musical is presenting them as. So as I explain the correlating tarot card for each of the wives, I'll also explain what song I'm referencing in the musical. So if you love the musical six or you want to learn about tarot, definitely stay tuned for this video. If not, I'll have my entire playlist linked in the cards above and you can watch my other videos explaining tarot. If you're new to the channel, I want to say welcome. Please subscribe. I would love to have you a part of this family and make sure you turn on that bell notification so you don't miss out when I post future videos. I post new videos every single week including more educational videos like this but I also post readings so I do collective readings, zodiac readings, and pick a pile readings. So jumping into the video now we have Catherine of Aragon and she sings the song No Way. And I think the tarot card that embodies her the best is the High Priestess because one, she does get sent to a nunnery and so she is like this religious energy in the musical as far as all the other wives are concerned. And I feel like the High Priestess really represents that religious aspect of tarot because she's kind of like the Hierophant's counterpart. So even though it's more of her own energy, she still represents that energy of finding something that she believes in and that she sticks with. And I also feel like Catherine of Aragon is a very strong person. She's gone through a lot and she uses that to become stronger and I feel like that's something that the high priestess does because she's focused on self-growth and self-improvement and I also feel like Catherine is a very strong person for standing up to him and saying no in the song she's basically saying no way I'm not going to do that you're not going to manipulate me or push me around and make me do things that I don't want to do and I feel like the high priestess represents an energy that is very strong and very self-assured and is not going to be dictated by other people no matter what it makes them look like. And so the High Priestess to me represents a female energy who is very self-assured, very confident, does have the ability to be spiritual and they use that to help them remain self-assured. It helps them stay confident where they don't let other people sway them. It's someone who is very set on who they are and what they will and won't do. And it's almost like they have a very strong sense of ethics and morals because they know what they believe in and they're not going to sway from that. And so it's not someone that you can really bulldoze around. So if this comes up in a tarot reading for you. It could be representing a spiritual energy of some sorts or it's someone who is very strong in what they believe and they are not going to be swayed. They're not going to let others push them around. This is really going to be an energy representing that either you or the person that you're reading for is going to face challenges and maybe be tested in a way but it's meant to teach you how to connect with your intuition and be more mindful about what is really guiding you. So next we have Anne Boleyn and she sings the song Don't Lose Your Head and so I really feel like the Page of Swords paired with the Seven of Swords really represents her energy because the Page of Swords is someone where they are very smart and they can be very calculating but they're the page so they're a little bit immature and as a result what they say can come out in ways that is blunt, rude or not how they intended or it can be something where like they have a quick tongue where they mean what they say and they stand up for what they say but it comes out very rude and very blunt and I feel like we see that with Anne Boleyn she says something and everyone's like oh my god and she's like what? because she doesn't see the issue with what she said. And then the Seven of Swords represents an energy in which there's betrayal, there's things going on behind the scenes, um, there's some backstabbing. And so one, we can say that this is depicting her and Henry's relationship going behind Catherine of Aragon's back. But we also see it with Anne Boleyn and with Henry in the sense of he cheats, she cheats, and it's almost like getting each other back for things behind each other's backs. 
and so it's this backstabbing energy all around that eventually gets her beheaded and so because the seven of swords represents this betrayal and the secrecy that then leads to someone getting hurt I feel like that really represents her energy so I think as a person the way she held herself in the musical represents the page of swords but what happened to her more so represents the seven of swords so the page of swords shows up in your reading it could be representing an immature energy or a younger energy in which someone is trying to achieve their goals or trying to move forward in life but they have a tendency to kind of trip over their words or say things in a way that rubs people the wrong way and so they have a tendency to kind of get on people's bad side and people see that as being either rude or being a bitch and so they end up having a harder time when it comes to forming these deep connections because they are very much trying to be very calculating with what they're doing even if they don't mean others harm by it and then the seven of swords represents an energy in which there's things that are going on behind the scenes that has some shady element to it in which someone is getting betrayed backstabbed or it's something that is going to end up hurting them and so when it shows up in a reading it could either be warning you that people are working against you or doing things behind your back or it's showing you hey you're doing something that's not for your highest good and there's going to be repercussions as a result of it so next we have Jane Seymour and she sings the song heart of stone so for her I feel like she's represented by the Empress card and her relationship with Henry is the two of cups and I say this because the Empress is this regal energy she is the Empress but she also is this loving nurturing mother and she has a lot of compassion within her and we see this with Jane she has a very compassionate heart for Henry she sees the best in him and she also is the one who mothers his first son so she's very important to him in the sense that she provided him what he wanted which was another heir to the throne and then I say that her situation is the two of cups because the two of cups represents this energy of soulmates of this divine union and this very happy and loving connection between two people and I feel like that's her and Henry because regardless if it was just because of her son or not she felt the love for him and in a way he had more respect for her because he got a son with her and so they had this very unique relationship that he didn't really have with the rest of his wives where there is a lot more level of compassion between the two of them and so the Empress shows up in a reading it could be representing fertility or a birth of some sort it also represents this very loving nurturing energy but at the same time this power of authority in which someone is in control or they have more power than others in the situation and then the two of cups in a reading represents an energy of soulmates divine union if it's in a love reading it's showing very happy times ahead for these people and there could be a soulmate connection between them it's a very loving and compassionate relationship in which there's respect and there's this mutual energy of helping everyone succeed because the two of cups it's that energy of balance and duality so next we have Anna Cleves and she sings the song get down and I feel like the cards that represent her is the Queen of Wands and the Justice card so the Queen of Wands energy is someone who is very self-assured and very confident but it differs from the High Priestess because the High Priestess is confident because she knows what she believes in and she has faith in what she believes in the Queen of Wands on the other hand is very confident because they feel like they are that bitch it's just this pure confidence that exudes from them and so it's not anything in the sense of it's spiritual it's more so like they believe in themselves and there's nothing you can do to shake that confidence and we see that with Anna in the song especially she's going around and kind of flexing on everything that she has and she doesn't care that Henry didn't like her picture didn't find her attractive or hot enough because she's like I know who I am I know how good looking I am and I don't need him anymore because now I can get anyone I want and so it's this very confident and empowering song and then I feel like the justice card represents her energy as well because this is an energy in which I'm getting what I get and so you married me now you have to divorce me and I'm gonna get everything that is rightfully mine in this situation and whatever I had prior you can't take away from me so it's this energy of karma in a sense and the justice card really represents balance it represents justice so karma in a sense but also the legal situation of getting divorced can be represented with the justice card and so I feel like this really represents the energy of her being confident but also knowing what is balanced and what she's going to get out of this situation and how it's going to end she doesn't have any fear of losing everything because she knew she brought things to the table when she met him and so it's this really empowering song that I feel like the two of these cards just represent so well so if you get the Queen of Wands in your reading it could represent a couple different things it could be telling you you need to be more confident that you need to be more self-assured or it could be indicating that you are already confident and it's leading to better things in your life but it could also be representing that there's 
someone else in your life who feels very confident and really in their power of who they are and whatever you do is not going to knock them down so don't even attempt to. And then the Justice card, like I said, it could represent karma in your readings. It could also represent if there's a legal situation going on that it is going to end up in your favor. But Justice also represents this energy of balance and having everything sync up. And so if it's appearing in a reading and things have been going a bit hectic for you lately, it could be showing you that things are going to mellow out or vice versa. If things have felt really good, it could be indicating that things are going to be going down a little bit and to prepare for it. Or things could be going up in a better way in which you're having new opportunities open up to you. Definitely pay attention to what other cards you get when you get the Justice card in your readings because that's going to indicate what way the scales are tipping. So now we have Katherine Howard and she sings the song All You Want to Do. And so this is a very heartbreaking song and so I feel like the cards that represent her is the Queen of Cups and the Five of Cups. And so first of all the cup suit is a very emotional suit so it's definitely someone who is in touch with their feelings and we see that throughout the song. Her whole reading is on these failed relationships and how she goes into them being very optimistic and then she ends up being heartbroken because people are only using her. So I feel like the reason the Queen of Cups represents her energy is because the Queen of Cups is someone who's very compassionate, very loving, very nurturing, wants to have these very fulfilling relationships, wants to help people grow, wants to help others improve, and wants to be an asset in a relationship in which they're a team player. They're providing things to the table, but they're also looking for that relationship in which they have that love and compassion poured back into them. They're looking for their equal counterpart. And that's what we see throughout the song, even when she thinks it's just going to be able to platonic relationship. She just wants people to give her back the love she's been giving to others instead of using her only for her looks and her body. And so we see that throughout the musical, she is wanting to have this loving compassion and energy given back to her and it just never is. So I feel like she is the Queen of Cups who just never got that love returned. And that's why we also have the Five of Cups because the Five of Cups represents an energy of disappointment, of having the things in front of you not work out but then having things behind you that still have potential. And I feel like that energy represents Catherine so well because every time a relationship doesn't work out, she's optimistic that the next one will. So she's disappointed by her current options, but behind her, she's hopeful for things to change. But as the song goes on, you see that her hope decreases and she starts to realize this is the way that men perceive her and this is how it's always going to be with them. And so she loses that hope and she just focuses on the disappointment in front of her, which very much embodies the energy of the five of cups because while you have these options behind you you don't always see them and so you are crying about things in front of you because they have left you very empty and very disappointed so if you get the queen of cups in a reading it could be representing that you were trying to take care of someone you were trying to nurture them but it also is warning you to be cautious of how much energy you're giving others and make sure that everything is being returned back to you if it's not reevaluate what you're doing and how much you're giving but if the queen of cups appears in your reading when asking about someone else, it means that they're very genuine in their feelings and their emotions. They want the best for you and they want to help you with this relationship, whether it's a romantic relationship or whether it's a platonic relationship. Whatever the goal of the relationship is, whatever they have been upfront about, that is the truth. And then if you get the five of cups in a reading, it could be warning you that you're going to face disappointment or something's not going to work out. But if you allow yourself to open up your perspective and get a new way of thinking, you can find something else to channel your energy into to overcome this situation but it is representing that things are not going as you think that whatever you're working on right now is not going to work out in a way that you are expecting it to and so prepare for disappointment but allow yourself when you face that disappointment to when it happens not to get stuck in it don't wallow in it allow yourself to brainstorm and come up with another solution or another option and it's also letting you know that if something doesn't work out between you and other people let it go, walk away from it, and you will eventually find something better. But it's going to be a process before you are able to do so. So finally, we have the last wife. We have Catherine Parr, and she sings the song, I Don't Need Your Love. So I think the tarot cards that represent her the best is the Three of Swords with the Chariot and with the Lover's Cards. And so the Three of Swords is representing her heartbreak over having to lose her actual love and walk away from him because they can't be together because Henry VIII wants to be with her. And the chariot represents her energy of moving on 
on and being with Henry and allowing herself to leave her old life behind. And then the lover's cards represents the fact that her and Henry are together for majority of their lives. She's his last wife. She doesn't die and they don't get divorced. So she is with him. For a majority of their lives and so I feel like the three swords represents this energy of heartbreak of loss of pain of grief and that's really what's going on in this song is that she has to write this letter to her love saying that she's always going to love him but they can't be together because it would create this big mess for the both of them if she was to turn down the king and then the chariot represents this energy of moving forward of kind of being in this vehicle and the universe is pushing you forward because you can't go back in time you can't change the past and so that's that's what's going on with her. She has to grieve her old life, her old love, and then she needs to move forward and act like everything's okay as she steps into this role of being Henry's wife, of embodying the energy of the lover's card. And the reason why I went with the lover's card for her and Henry is because this is representing the energy of a couple, of a relationship, but it's not necessarily representing an energy of a soulmate connection or one in which everyone's happy. You can have people be in a relationship in which they are not very happy. The lovers isn't representing anything to do within the relationship or their dynamic. It's simply representing that two people are together. And so that's something to remember with the lovers card is just because people are together, that's not indicating success for a relationship. You really need to pay attention to what other cards come out with the lovers card or you have to be very specific when asking about the relationship question. And then if you get the lovers card and it's answering the question in a direct way, then you can take it as a positive. But just saying will these two people end up together you can get the lovers card and it could be yes but it's not indicating they will be happy while they are together so that's something to keep note of and then going back to the energy of the chariot if we listen to the song she literally talks about being the survivor so she's not saying that she genuinely enjoys her life she's also not saying that she doesn't but what she is indicating is that it was something that just happened it's something that was just kind of a part of her life and that's where the chariot card comes into play because that's something that's just like pushing pushing you forward or removing you from the past into the future. The cherry card can also represent time. So it represents the passing of time between when she had to leave her old love and then move forward with Henry. So again, it's really this energy of moving forward, whether in time, whether in a situation, whatever, it's this energy of I was here and now I'm here. And so I really feel like the combination of these three cards indicates her situation so well. And so the three of swords is appearing in a reading. It could be warning you that you were going to have a situation in which you are going to have to face a lot of negative emotions you're going to have to mourn it could be representing a breakup or something is not working that you have to let go of you have to leave it behind it's really this energy of mourning of grieving of being upset by a situation and allowing yourself to start the healing process by accepting it so that you can feel these emotions and you can process them and so if this card is appearing in your reading it could be warning you that there's something that you need to release that you need to let go of or it could be indicating that there's something you've been holding on onto that's been causing you pain and it's time to acknowledge that so that you can put a stop to it. And then when the chariot card appears in a reading, it could be indicating that you're moving forward and this could be in a good or bad way depending what cards it's referencing. But it's indicating that whatever you were at before, you're moving forward towards into a new situation. And then if you get the lover's card in a reading, it could be indicating that you and a person are going to be having a romantic relationship, but it also represents the energy of choices. And so with this being said, based on the cards around you that will help you decide what choice is better for you and if you even have an option when it comes to this choice because sometimes we are thrown into things like we see with Catherine Parr where yes technically she had a choice but if she chose her original love that would cause a lot of issues and potentially lead to death for them because he was the king so there was this power dynamic that she did not have control over and so it represents this energy of really needing to evaluate things and look and see what your options are to see if the outcome that you are being told is going to happen is actually one that you want. And so really pay attention to the other cards that you have come out with the lover's card to show you if it is actually leading to a result you want or not. And if it's not, definitely pull some more cards and see if there is some guidance that you can get on how to either avoid things or change your current trajectory so that is not your future. So it's definitely a card that you want to pay attention to and don't always assume that it is a positive card. It's not by all means a negative card, it's kind of a neutral card and you need the other cards to indicate what it fully means.
So that's six the musical as tarot cards. I hope that you found this video helpful and that it helped you understand tarot a little bit better. And I also hope that it helped you discover a new musical if you haven't heard of this one yet. It's one of my favorite musicals. And so if you found this video helpful, let me know in the YouTube comments down below. Also give this video a big thumbs up and share with others who need to hear it. If you haven't already subscribed, please do so. I would love to have you a part of this family. And don't forget to turn on that bell notification so you don't miss out when I post my next video. I post new videos every single week, including new educational videos like this. I also also post zodiac readings, collective readings, and pick a pile readings, along with unboxing videos of different tarot and oracle decks. And I'm going to have other videos linked in the cards above for you to watch next. I can't wait to see you all in my next video. I hope you have a good one. Bye.